Hi, SaberSerious here, back on our Antimer Dimensions New Game Minus 4 video, episode 4. And we're up, we're, um, 4 Dimension Boosts, and we have E, D, Antimatter, and we have 431 tick speed upgrades, which is enough to actually start really get getting us moving. So, yeah, this is exciting. Get 4th Dimensions, 5th Dimensions, we can only get up to 5th, but that's okay, because... After getting all this, it's definitely going to speed up a fair bit. I thought it was going to speed up a little more than this. Actually, no, it's already speeding up. Like, I'm our... Like, yeah, this is getting good. And then once you get um, E, E, that's going to really be when things will speed up. And hopefully, yeah, we're going to get an, we're going to get an achievement reward. Which is a pretty... Or not an achievement reward, reward, but an achievement row. And... In New Game Minus 2, in New Game Minus Minus, and New Game Minus Minus Minus, they, this gave a 5 times multiplier to all dimensions. You, you know how big that would be in something as, as just, you know, as slow as this mod? New Game Minus 4, yeah, the, it, it, it helps so much, like, like it, it's unbelievable. But I, I need enough antimatter to get there. And this is just the seventh dimension. I need E13 antimatter. It shouldn't be too bad to get the E13, and even though it's in hexadecimal, so it works a little differently. But whatever, it shouldn't be too bad. This this is E14 to get ten seventh dimensions. That's when we start really getting this multiplier up. We're up to E3 in hexadecimal. That's the multiplier. So at least we're getting we're getting farther but it's yeah it, it's still a little bit slow I probably shouldn't be complaining about this because this is probably near vanilla speed but whatever i i can't wait to get this galaxy can't wait to get the eighth dimension i need e19 to get eighth dimension that's i think that's a new record i need for antimatter so i guess that's pretty interesting remember galaxy is going to be is above time dimension shift as a reset Okay, now we're going fast. We're having like 30, getting like a 35% growth, which is really good. And unfortunately, it's, it's not going to be maintained. Whatever, it's it's okay. I'm avoiding these because these are just wastes of antimatter. I do not, I do not need them. So, we're just a few orders of magnitude away. Even in hexadecimal, it's still, yeah, I... I I, I wonder what this is going to do. It could be even more powerful than five times, or it could be weaker. I have no idea. That's why I'm so excited about getting it. We're, again, there we're up to E17, and we need 7.E3E19. So, yeah, we're, we're, we'll... Okay, look look at this. We're up to E18. Just, just a little bit more, and I will get... This is 4.6FE19. Not sure if I should go for it. Honestly, I don't think it's actually... It is the sixth dimension, though. I don't know. I just want to get this. I want to get the 7E3E19. E because that is going to be the big one. So there we go. There is the achievement. And we get our 5 times multiplier on all dimensions. That speeds us up a ton. It's going to help so much. Now, getting the eighth dimensions... Up here we go. One galaxy. This is this is our regular countdown. Three, two, one, boom. So um tick speed boosts are now a thing. The next galaxy costs 78 dimensions. Our time dimension shifts are reset. Yeah, that yeah, that's a thing. And also Galactic sacrifices here. That's so essentially this is the new game minus minus layer. This is the new game minus 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 layer. This also gives me some achievement rewards. So I, I got this one, which doesn't have any reward, unfortunately. But this one, upon a time dimension boost, I'm not sure if it's just boost or shift or boost, your dimension boosts don't reset unless you have more time dimension boosts than your dimension boosts. So. This, uh, okay, let, let's let's see. This is a little complicated. So it looks like if the time dimension boosts will not reset my dimension boosts if this number right here is bigger than this number. So 
some so I may want to sometimes keep dimension boosts low because time dimension boost will it's it's sort of like the it's sort of like what happens in new game minus three what I'm actually gonna do I'm gonna export my save because I don't since this is 178 but if I got this it doesn't actually give me any antimatter so but it may actually oh okay this, there's actually a thing in place that prevents you from doing that I didn't know that. Okay, we're, we're close to 15 antimatter, sort of, not really. Uh, yeah, this is boring. But at, at least, like, we can start getting dimension... We can start getting dimension boosts, like, as long as we keep this below the time dimension boosts. Or time, yeah. So, uh, I guess that's exciting. Except the problem is that it's, all, it's really slow again, because I don't have any time dimension shifts. Galaxies reset everything. So, and then there's, like, other layers that I need to get to. I think once I get to 10, 8th, or once I get back to 10, 8th dimensions, I can do the first galactic sacrifice. That's what, that's what happens in New Game Minus, Minus, and Minus, Minus, Minus. So, hopefully, that will be possible. And actually, that doesn't even seem, like, too, too bad of a goal. Like, it doesn't seem too hard to get, and I know, it's, it's just, everything's crazy here, but... Shouldn't be actually too too bad. So here we go. We're, we're getting a time dimension shift in one sitting, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna see if this is possible with the second time dimensions. No, okay. I I, I didn't think so, but I don't know. There might have been a chance. I, th I thought I remember this costing 15 instead of 20, but I don't know. It's probably yeah. This is the weird sort of where just like this struggles to start going, and then once I get it it starts just getting better and better so yeah it's gonna it's gonna take a while honestly it's not really exciting i'm probably i may cut out some of these time dimension boosts because you know our time dimension shifts because they're pretty boring like it, it's really like the antimatter per second is just so slow i, I mean, even with this five times multiplier in all dimensions it's just so slow so yeah seen a bit Okay, I'm back, and I have three time dimension shifts. It's not that many, but it's okay amount. And I can't get the fourth one, but I can probably start going for some dimension boosts now. Considering now I can get I can get four third dimensions, and that's probably gonna really that's gonna speed up the game. Also, I have 370 tick speed upgrades, so that should easily get me to the four or the first dimension shift. And I, I have to be I have to be careful because like, I don't I don't want time dimension shifts to reset my dimension shifts. It, it's weird. So yeah, upon a time dimension boost, your your dimension boosts do not reset. So it's as long as unless you have more time dimension boosts than your dimension boosts. This achievement reward really, really confuses me. It really this, there's another reward here, but um yeah, this is re this is the probably the most confusing achievement reward I've ever had, because that means like I essentially have to keep my time dimension boosts low for it to not reset. That's and, and my di and my regular dimension boosts high, and I already have and each reset just takes like a day to build back up. So I I don't I don't want to do that. Um, I think it's just better to try to immediately go for the fourth time dimension shift, and then eventually. Once I have, I think, about five time dimension shifts, maybe I should, I, I should go for, yeah, how's it, five dim time dimension shifts, I should just go for the gal go for the galaxy, and hopefully that will mean I can galactic sacrifice for the first time, because that's, galactic sacrifice is, yeah, it's huge when, it, when you unlock it, so I'm almost there, I need to just get to EB, which shouldn't take that long. Hopefully, especially with with this, which is gonna give me a double multiplier on every dimension. So, yeah, it's weird. Unfortunately, the achievement reward just doesn't really help much because it's like it's just like your dimension boosts don't reset. That doesn't really actually make make much of a difference. Like, if, if you have to keep your time dimension boosts low. Like, I'm gonna read it again. It confuses me so much. You're just your dimension boosts don't reset if you have less time dimension 
boost than your dimension boost. This stat still manages to confuse me, but whatever. I I can get the fourth time dimension shift, and yeah, there's not not much I can do. It's just really really slow. It's never gonna be fast. So yeah, seeing a bit. Okay, I'm back. Well, quite a bit later, and. Yeah, we have E1A antimatter. It's enough to definitely get the next time dimension shift. I don't really, I don't think I need any more time dimension shifts after this. It's pretty crazy how much, like, an antimatter we even have. Like, we're, we, we have enough to get, we're almost 10% to infinity. So, yeah, that, that's pretty crazy. But, yeah, this, this is the final time dimension shift I think I'm, I'm going to go for. And it's hopefully going to get a lot more tolerable when I grind up to the eighth dimension again so yeah seen a bit okay it's been like months since the last time i recorded this because i, I recorded this before like like i recorded a lot of these clips before uh this series was gonna be like a real series on youtube but now it's the first video is like ready to go on youtube so i'm gonna start taking this a little more seriously than before so I mean, I was already probably taking this seriously, but anyway, I can get second dimensions, third dimensions, I guess I can get these, I can probably get these tick speed upgrades, I should probably get, yeah, the fifth time dimensions, maybe a little bit of the, of the fourth time dimensions as well, and that actually should speed up progress to a decent pace, I mean, it, it won't be all that fast, but it'll, it'll be something, I think, I think all I need to do is just wait, like, I don't know, ten minutes, and I'll be able to do another dimension shift. So, um, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back like 15 minutes later, and I can finally get a sixth dimension so I can dimension boost. So, yeah, I I forgot how, yeah, this is this is slow. I mean, it is it is faster than ever before, probably. Like I'm like I'm already up to gaining. 0.16 antimatter per second. So, I mean, this is definitely quite a bit faster than faster than before. But the thing is that the next thing here is 40 antimatter, and even getting a quarter of an antimatter per second, that's still not really gonna do much, because that's still gonna take well over two minutes. So, uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a few hours later, and I can finally get. Another dimension shift, which means galactic sacrifice. This is this is huge. This is this is huge. This is gonna be the next episode because this is just this is this is a turning point in New Game Minus Four. I'm not sure what it's gonna be like, but I'm just gonna give you a quick preview. It's a prestige layer that's introduced in New Game Minus Minus. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.